Welcome to WebStyleRus. In this video, we will fetch data from an Excel file or Excel file in a React.js application. We will install required dependencies, import the dependencies, read the Excel file, parse the data and save it in a state. Then we will display the data from this state in the component. This is our simple React.js application created with Create React app. I have placed an Excel file in the project in SRC folder. Number, name, age, state, country, interests. The task requires Excel SX library for parsing the Excel files. Install the dependencies using npm or yarn. From your project folder, Install this dependency with npm install Excel SX. At npm, it's called Sheet JS. After dependencies installed, import project dependencies. Import use state hook from React. Import everything as Excel SX from Excel SX. Import all the exported members from the Excel SX library and make them available as an object. Excel SX. Define a state called data and a function set data to update the state. Initialize this state with an initial value of an empty array. Create an input element of type file that allows user to choose an Excel file from local file system. This file field will trigger handle file upload function to process the file when a new file is selected. Create a function to read and parse the Excel file. Handle file upload takes an event object E as its argument. This event object is automatically parsed by the browser when the on change event is triggered on the file input element. Create a new instance of the file reader class. It provides methods to read the content of provided file. Here the read as binary string method is being called on the reader object to start reading the content of the uploaded file. The files property of the event object e.target holds the list of the files and the first file is passed to the method. Once the file's content is read, the onload event is triggered and the callback function is executed. Assign an event listener to the onload property of the reader object. This event listener is a callback function that is executed when the file reader has successfully read the file's content. Pass the event object E to the onload callback function that contains the result property. The result property holds the contents of the file as a binary string. This content is assigned to the data variable here. The read function from the Excel SX library is being used to parse the binary string data and create a workbook object representing the Excel file. The first sheet's name is being extracted from the workbook object by accessing the sheet names array. If you need to fetch data from a different sheet in the Excel file, you can change the number here. The first sheet's Actual data is being obtained from the workbook object by using the extracted sheet name as the key. Sheet to JSON function is used to convert the first sheet's data into a JSON object. This JSON object is an array of raw objects with each object representing a raw in the sheet. Finally, call the setData function to update the state variable data with the parsed JSON data. Now once state will be updated, we'll have the sheet's data here in the data variable. Now we have the data in state. Let's display it. This is a check that checks if data is not empty. If we have the data, we'll display table. This is table head, this is table body.
table head section will display a set of table header cells generated based on the property names of the first object in the data array creating a table header that corresponds to the column names of the data notice we only used keys here and not the values object dot keys from data object dot keys is a built-in javascript function that returns an array of the given object's property names that is being called here with the first object in the data array as its argument so it returns an array of property names for that object the map function is being called on the array of property names it will iterate over each item in the array and applies a callback function to transform the array items here the callback function takes a single argument key which represents a property name from the data object inside the callback function a new table header cell that is th is being created for each property name for each key the key attribute is being assigned to the th element to uniquely identify it within the react component which is a requirement for the elements generated from an array in react here we get the values from data array from each row we used object dot values where raw represents a record in data The map function is iterating over each item in the array. Each object here represents a raw of data. A callback function is applied with two arguments raw and index. Raw represents the current object raw of data and index represents the current raw's index in the data array. Inside the callback function a new table raw is being created for each object in the data array. The key attribute is assigned to the tr element to uniquely identify it within the react component which is a requirement within the table raw the object dot values function is called with the new raw object as the argument which returns an array of the object's property values the map function is then called on this array to iterate over each value and apply a callback function to transform the array items the callback function takes two arguments value that represents the current cell content and index representing the current cells index in the row a new table data cell is created for each value in the row the key attribute is assigned to the td element to uniquely identify it within the react component the value is used as the content of the td element so it is displayed as the cell content now when we will upload an excel file the data will be displayed in a table form save choose file and here is the data and this is how we can display data from an excel file in react js i have also displayed data using csv file and a json file i will link those tutorials in the description Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.